the ultimate healing mechanism. This is a cell. One human body is composed of 60 to 100 trillion cells that make up your molecular form. And anything that closes your cellular structure will obstruct healing. And anything that opens your cellular structure will facilitate healing. So anything that you see on the left closes you. Anything that you see on the right opens you. Do you want to be on the left or on the right? All right. Pakibasa po. Fear. Love. Very good. The real miracle is within you. Pakisabi sa katabi mo, nasa you pala eh. Okay, pa say it with me please. Louder. Ayan na, ayan. Louder. Just. Louder. Louder pa. Oh, palakpak naman dyan. Okay, sabay-sabay, kanta. I will be true to you. Just a promise from you will do. From the very start, please be careful with my heart. Palakpak naman dyan. Tama-tama, zero-zero-zero. <laughs> Perfect. Maraming salamat po. All right, thank you very much, Dr. Romy, for that wonderful talk about self-help empowerment. Please stay on stage as we'll now proceed for the Q&A portion. Okay, guys, you could participate in the discussion by sending in your questions to this number, 0995-941-7941. I believe you have a copy of the number with you. So I will now turn you over to Ms. Salve Duplitov to moderate the discussion with Dr. Romy. Didinig nyo naman ako, di ba, kanina, kahit na walang mikropono. Sir, it's a privilege to meet you. Sobrang tuwang-tuwa ako nung nakasquat kayo dun. Sa 20 years na nag a ako ng mga ganitong event, di pa ako nakakita ng speaker na nag-squat on stage. Pero lahat tayo natuto, tama, mali? Taas nyo nga mga kamay nyo, yung merong gagawing kakaiba bukas ng umaga. <laughs> o kaya mamayang gabi, sir. One of the things that I love reading about you is wala kang consultation room as a doctor. You have a conversation room. Can you tell us why that's what you did? Okay. Words are very powerful because words are vibrations. When we say consultation, there is actually an asymmetrical relationship between the patient and the doctor. The doctor is here, the patient is here not equal. So we changed the word some time ago because we like to play with words and we call it conversation just to bring back the symmetry because I have noticed, I have observed for the past 20 years of dealing with a lot of people, the sick and the dying, that when we bring back the symmetry, there is more authenticity in the healing process. It is no longer based on fear. It is based on love. Para pong yung sinasabi din kanina ni Sir Arun. Because I'm not generalizing, but there is so much fear in our healthcare system today. Because I see a lot of people who come to me, they are contracted in fear. Doc, wala na po kami pang dialysis bukas. Naubos na. Doc, wala po kami pang chemo. Hindi talaga kaya. So there's so much fear. So, People think that it is fear that will keep them safe. No, it is love that will keep you safe. Wow, napakalalim. Dok, palak... Tama yan. Ay, hindi ko pa kayo pinaprompt pina nagpapalakpakan na sila. Sino ditong in love? Bakit walang pumalakpak? Ayun na yung dalawa. Super in love yan lagi. Okay, I want to hear questions, a live question from someone in the audience. Alam nyo, pumila na kayo sa mikropono kasi babalik na ng Cebu si Doc. 
Kailan ka ba babalik ng Cebu? Uh, November 1 pa. <laughs> <laughs> Pwede pa pala magkonsulta. Sana merong clone ka dito sa Metro Manila. Can someone ask a question from the audience? Okay, I see a hand there and then I see someone here. Please line up on the microphone. It's fine. I'll, I'll ask this lady here first and then I'll ask you next. But please stay there para mabilis tayo. Okay, madam. Hi, Doc. Uh, thank you for the talk. Um, my question is, are you endorsing a plant-based diet? And is it healthy to eliminate all animal products on our everyday diet? Uh, according to the science of lifestyle medicine, plant-based, whole food, low-fat diet is the diet that uh, makes you avoid cardiovascular disease and other chronic diseases. Now, we are not all created equal. So, we don't push or we don't uh, impose a plant-based, whole food, low-fat diet. We just tell you the information that is science-based and evidence-based. So, you don't have to change your diet overnight. You don't have to change what you eat overnight. Listen to your body. A lot of people nowadays, they rely on the internet to find out what to eat and what not to eat. I have another suggestion. Why don't you find it out yourself, observe your body? For example, if you eat fruits in the morning, or fruits, if you eat a lot of fruits, do you feel heavy or do you feel light? A lot of people, most people feel light. But if you eat buffet, <laughs> at kinain mo lahat, kasi ayaw mo nga magpalugi, Pinoy. <laughs> Do you feel light or do you feel heavy? So don't listen to anyone. Don't listen to me. Listen to your body. Listen to your body. Because when you listen to your body, you are paying attention to the intelligence of your body. A lot of people rely on the internet. They Google, anong diet? Ang dami-dami na pong mga diet ngayon. Nakakalito na. Ano ba talaga, kuya? Merong uh, Atkins diet, merong Pritikin diet, may keto, keto diet. Naku, hindi na alam mo. <laughs> and, a lot, and some of it are fat. Fat meaning, next year, iba na naman. Next year, iba na naman. So, so my answer to your question, ma'am, is listen to your body. Thank you, Doc. Nasagot, nasagot yes. naman. Okay, we go to this lady with the white blazer. Hello, um, good afternoon everyone. I just have a question. Um, uh, what do you think about cannabis? Should it be made legal in the Philippines as a medicine? Wow. Oy, may nagpalakpakan, okay? <laughs> very controversial but yes. very interesting yeah. question. Very controversial, very interesting. In fact, I have a lot of patients who ask me, Doc, meron ka bang cannabis? <laughs> Sabi ko, wala eh. Kasi kung meron, baka sarado na ako. <laughs> because it's not yet legalized in the Philippines. Now, basically, people have been looking at the value of cannabis, which is actually coming from plant source. But uh, as far as I'm, I'm concerned, as I'm not an expert on cannabis because I don't use it because it's not available yet. But as far as I'm concerned, people are, it's, it's, it's promising, the, the benefits, the science. Uh, but the bottom line is it's still about expansion. Expansion of your cellular structure. Especially when you put it under your tongue, damihan mo, and then parang mahay ng konte. Oh, so it's all about expansion. But my dear friends, do not forget the chemistry of blissfulness inside you. Do not forget that there is already a chemistry of blissfulness inside you, and you can make that happen within you. That's why I've been telling people: do not rely only on external sources for your healing. The only way out is in. Thank Is there you anyone both. else who would like to ask? Thank you for asking that question. Somebody in the audience, meron pa ba? Habang nag-iisip, oh, okay, si madam. Pwede ko sa'yo ibigay yung mikropono ko, ma'am. <laughs> or, or you can just say it out loud. So, <laughs> wound ng mother ko. Then, nung lumaki ako, parang parati ako nagsisisure. Then, uh, seven, nung seven years ako, sabi nung parents ko, 
parang inano nila ako kay St. Anthony de Padua, pinanata nila ako. Then, nung, nung, nung mga 20 years old ako, bumalik na naman yung pagsisisure ko. Tapos, uh, I, I went to different hospitals, St. Luke's, uh, Makati Med, PGH. Uh, they subjected me to so many tests yung nilalagay sa KW, MRI, everything. All the findings are normal. But uh, I was wondering, why is it happening? There was a time I was in the airplane. No, when I woke up, I was uh, already in the uh, ambulance sa Thailand. And the pilot was telling me, you're so lucky, we have a doctor in the plane. We're supposed to come back to Manila if there's no doctor. So then again, I went to several testings and all the findings were normal. So, and they are giving me medicines for a seizure disorder. But I was telling my doctor, how come you're giving me this medicine and you're saying that everything is normal? And I, I can't believe that it's normal because something is happening to me. Uh, to the point that there was a time that I was so depressed and uh, I was wondering why is this happening to me? I'm at the peak of my career and then this is happening. So, uh, the last doctor that I've seen, she told me the only thing that I can do to you is to go for acupuncture and meditation. And so far, ngayon wala pa ako ano, pero I'm so afraid like, uh, if I go to abroad or take a plane, natatakot ako. So, what Thank can you. you say about it? Thank you, ma'am. Okay, We're sorry to hear you. about that. Yep. We have three, almost four minutes, okay. but... Yeah. Uh, three minutes to answer. <laughs> uh, when we say it's normal, there are two categorization, category. Is it, it's, so what you're saying, ma'am, actually, is it is normal, it looks normal structurally. But biologically, something is wrong. Something is causing the seizure. But it cannot be seen by an X-ray, by a CT scan, by an EEG. So I have seen a lot of cases like that. And my realization, my understanding is there's something wrong with the internal biochemistry inside the brain. I'm talking about the internal biochemistry. Now, we don't look at the internal biochemistry. We only look at the picture. We look at the EEG, the CT scan, magigita yung EEG, nagaganon siya. No? Parang earthquake. So, what can disrupt the internal biochemistry inside the nervous system, the brain? Toxicity pa rin po. And toxicity can come in many forms. You go to the supermarket, you read all the ingredients of the junk food and the processed food. That is an example of toxicity. But we just buy in the supermarket unconsciously. We don't even take a look. So those are the things that we have to consider. So one of the main solutions is to detoxify. Not just looking for a treatment modality, whether it is conventional treatment modality or an alternative treatment modality. No, go to the bottom line. What is the root cause? What is causing it? And I shared to you earlier, toxicity and deficiency. And you start with the toxicity because from, our, from my experience, a lot of seizures that is not structural in origin, meaning there's no tumor, there's no cyst, is there something wrong with the internal biochemistry. And one powerful way to change the internal biochemistry is to change your food. So go to plant-based, whole food, low-fat diet. Do some detoxification, like, uh, you know, you sweat a lot. Anything that detoxifies you, you know, and the roads of detoxification inside the body is you, you exhale, so you exercise, you poo, so you take a lot of foods that are rich in fiber, and then you urinate, take a lot of fluids. And then one more thing, I did not learn this in medical school, but it helps. Uh, you can look at it in YouTube, there's a documentary about it, it's called Degrounded. Ground yourself. This body, according to the yogic sciences, is 72% water, 12% earth, 6% air, 4% fire, and the rest is space. So when you do earthing, earthing means you connect your feet to the ground. There is some subtle electromagnetic energy that happens between you and Mother Earth. We are part of Mother Earth. That is why they call it in the yogic sciences the five fundamental elements. 
water, earth, air, fire, and space. But what I learned in medical school, you are 72% water, the rest we do not know. <laughs> Pwede rin po ba sa pag-detoxify yung lumayo sa mother-in-law? Oh yes, well, pat patawarin mo yung mother-in-law mo. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, very inspiring words from Doc Romy. Let us all thank him for this wonderful session. Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you very much.